What is up everyone? I'm LC Back Dream and in today's video I'll be showing you guys, you know, I could kite sculptors too. Now you may think, oh he's gonna use forward and full football away, but no, I'm playing prospector this time. And using prospector, you know, I'm not a prospector main, I'm relatively new to him, but I, I have the basics down, you know, you draw a magnet, you stun, and yeah. You know, somehow I'm able to kite a nice bad sculptor. And you'll see why. Now instead of your typical, you know, going to pallets, uh, dropping a pallet down and then create distance that way, I just straight up just ran in her open. Not giving her her not giving the opportunity for the sculptor to land a statue on me. And because I do have magnets and I have owls, I could afford to do this. Just run in the open. And that will buy time for me. I'm just heading straight to the roller coaster right now. And as you can see, I'm really patient on the roller coaster. I, cause, because I have the perspective on a hunter. And I know she will you know, immediately go to the second stop if I roll that roller coaster. So instead of going, I waited for a bit. And I decided to leave because uh, I feel like I could. I am able to kite, rotate back around to the roller coaster. And my magnet is back up though, so I am able to kite for a little bit longer. Blink is ready to go, but I am not hit yet. And because I ran in the open, I only got one chip shot because I went for that stun. But, you know, as long as I don't get the second chip shot, I should be fine. I won't be instantly down. And I can buy more time for my team to decode. I am de I am kiting around Merc Cypher though, but, you know, it's very unlikely for Sculptor to change his target right now. So Merc is really safe to decode there. And that was a good thing to promote Cypher Rush, even though I'm kiting by her Cypher. Now, I do go down here though, but my Cypher is done and Mech is, you know, fully decoding. And because I took so long to get a hit, Mech's main body Cypher is almost done. And Bot Cypher, you know, is halfway there. So it should be enough Cypher. Sears just needs to do one more Cypher. Merc Cypher should be almost done as well. And I did get chipped by Merc. And so Merc can finish the Cypher first before he come rescue me. So it's, we're, we're in a pretty good momentum right now. But. You know, there is a chance for Scope to get max presence and tie that way, but as long as Merc make the save, everything is good to go. I do see Seer decoding there, so my job off the chair is not to kite, but to get away as get away, get as far as away as I can from Seer Cypher, because Seer Cypher is gonna is gonna be a last cipher. There's not much places I can go though, but die in a corner, maybe. If Scope wants to cheer me at two story, I might be able to struggle off, so it's a game over for Scope there and I'm hoping she cheers me by that chair right there right in front of us. And she does do that. One cyber to go. Seer Cyber is around 52%. Mech and Merc are here though because you know Max Prize and Scope is gonna be really difficult for someone as Mech to save. But really nice dodges right now. She did make it to the chair and he just needed to wait for the hit and I get the save and she did bring Titan so I am even if I go down to statues I am able to move around freely because of the 20 second cooldown on Titan. Now I take this opportunity to head towards uh, a better kiting spot which is you know taking the whole course to get the hell out of here. Again I call for the pop I'm gonna be full health uh, he cannot chip damage me. And I won't go down. I use the roller coaster to get across the map. And Sculptor is forced to change target if he teleports on me. Everybody is going to be on this side of the map. It's still going to be a dream man anyway. So she is going to come to this gate and see if she could find someone to get down as quickly as possible. Mech, Merc is on a gate from the start though. So there's really no reason for Sculptor to go over there right now. Use the chisel to see to see something, but it takes it back immediately. And Mercedes is heading towards the gate. I am at the other gate right now. I'm just waiting for my team to leave. The bot is here, chilling with me, open the gate for, for me. You know, we're just having a good time. You know, I finally kited the sculptor, guys. And, you know, I'm so happy. I was so happy on this map. I was like, oh my god, this is how you kited the sculptor. You just got a ran open. I should have known. You know, I, I would have kited it so well during that tournament. I just ran and open. You know. <laughs> Anyways, in this next match. You know, another Ripper gameplay. I'm trying to get an S pass for Ripper because Ripper has been pretty fun. And that Ripper, you know, hitting a foggy blade is just a really satisfying feeling. If you play Ripper, I think you can relate. It's kind of like hitting a mirror across the map. You're just, you know, sniping with your foggy blade. Like, like those, it's just amazing. Core shot and I use my foggy blade immediately. That, that feeling is just amazing. 
Now, because Core is going to be the slowest decoder as long as someone's on chip, and she did use her gun, I'm going to change target to this person decoding over, over here. And, you know, Sears is pretty good, pretty good uh, chase for a Ripper. Especially if you already got in the hit and you get your first skill, the invisibility. And all I got to do is bait the owl out and use my Foggy Blade to down Seer, and it's pretty much a guaranteed down. Sewer port is being called the healing pretty good move by survivors because you know cores will come rescue She is the only rescuer in this team comp because I did ban Merc I typically ban Merc for uh, when I play Ripper because I knock a stuff saves and Merc can take two hits it still saves so I want to prevent that So I usually just ban Merc I don't care about Cypher Rush as long as as long as like, stuff saves you know Cypher Rush won't matter not much to me now I cheer her. I cheer to see her by this uh, by this chair because Super Porter is here. Might as well get rid of it as well. Now all I gotta do is camp this chair, maybe get double down and potentially win the game. Because I do know that the Cypher Rose is being slowed down because Core did, you know, get healed. So Prison is the only one decoding two Cybers though. I don't know how quickly those two Cybers are being worked on, but it shouldn't be too bad because there's still five Cybers remaining. Core decides to run away. Got scared, I guess. You know, I am pretty scary. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna blame Core for that. I can't blame Core for that. I am pretty scary, Hunter. Used to wand and ran away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I think they wanna save full. I mean, I mean it's okay. I mean, you gotta make the save though. I do hit a nice volume by right there. This little tight area. Just aim straight down the middle. You know, even if she dodges to the side, it'll be a guaranteed hit. It's a pretty small area. Not 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 much places for her to dodge the foggy blip. Gets it down immediately. Uh, court uh, ch uh, chairs court. I see prisoner coming for the save, but I think it's a little bit too late. She's gonna be uh, off the chair soon. Use the foggy blip anyways. Maybe you know get a free hit on prisoner, but he did dodge last second. It's pretty good. Court comes saving last second, but there's four cybers remaining and two people are injured, so it looks like a pretty good. Pretty good game for me so far, as long as I down this prisoner. There's, there's a portal here, though. Prisoner is just, I mean, not prisoner. Prisoner is just so annoying. If she puts a portal down, I can't, I'm not going to hit it because it gets rid of the foggy blade. I don't want to go through it because it gets rid of my uh, invisibility. So, uh, portals are just really annoying for Ripper, to be honest. Four cybers remaining. Everyone's injured. As long as I down someone, uh, it should be... Should be no one coming to rescue because they need to heal right now. They they don't want they can't force that uh, server machine because someone's need to save and no one's full health. And because Merc is banned, you have to heal right now. Pretty good move, but Priest needs to kite though because there's four cybers remaining and there's only three people on the field, so they need to pop that server as soon as possible. But Priest's did go down, so someone needs to make a pretty good save and Priest's make a rebound kite and. Potentially they could go for a tie from there, but that's almost impossible because you know Priest is out of portals, core is no items, so it's really difficult to save. Especially against a ripper. We have foggy blades. And you have your little and you only have two feet. If they had like a football or like a or she still had a fur gun, it'd be it would be a pretty easy set. Or like if they have a gravekeeper, but in the size go I see exactly. But I hit the chair. Yo, always hit the chair. This game. This, I hate this game. Why? 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 Why do I hit the chair? I wasn't even aiming for the chair. I aimed for the side. Like what? I, like what touched the chair? My fingernails. Like why do I have long ass fingernails? Ripper, what's wrong with you? Cut them short so you don't hit the chair. Bot. Anyways, I can't double down. Uh, I knew. I know the general location of priestess, so. I could go for that greedy double down and still able to find priests. There's only two spots you could go. It's really just straight down, down middle, or go upstairs. So I got court down. They're still on two cybers though, but two cybers. There's one cyber that's already worked on, and I think they have another one somewhere around the map. I'm not quite sure though because they did have prison. Made that connection happen. Hit another foggy blip. I should go back though. I don't know how I missed that. I, that that's so annoying. You got a long finger nose, but you can't hit someone that's really, literally, literally right in front of you, Ripper. Your hitbox is worse than uh, Dream Witch hitbox, honestly. Your hitbox should be Wu Cheng's hitbox, not Dream Witch hitbox. Anyways, 
I eliminate two people, two servers remaining. Now it's just if I give them dungeon or not. But you know me, I'm not giving dungeon. I don't give dungeon unless unless I know you. and You're not getting dungeon from me. Let's not be being toxic. It's just how how, how no, that's what everyone does. <laughs> anyway, we get that court down and uh, yeah, should be GGs. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. <laughs>